for the final video in this mini series. I want to show how you can generate your own data for use with JSON server and point you to a few libraries that will make the data look more realistic. At the moment, we have a JSON file which contains a handful of products and reviews, but it is a file that was manually populated by me. When building applications, not all have the same data requirements which makes it difficult to populate a JSON file ourselves with large amounts of data. So let's see how we can use a JavaScript file instead of a JSON file to generate random data. Begin by creating a new file in the project folder. Let's call it data.js. From this file, we're going to export a function which returns some data. So module.exports an arrow function and within the function we declare a constant called data and set it to an object. So const data is equal to an object. Within the object we can define the resources. Let's add one resource called products and set it to an empty array. Next we iterate over a loop and populate this products array. So for let i equals 0, i less than 1000, i plus plus, data dot products dot push. We're going to push an object where id is going to be the iteration variable, so i. And the title is going to be a very simple string that contains the text products concatenated with the iteration number. In fact, this should just be product. Finally, we return data. Now in our package.json, instead of watching db.json, we watch data.js. If you now restart the server, yarn serve json, in the browser, refresh localhost 4000 slash products. You can see we now have 1000 products from 0 till 999. This is pretty much how you generate and use random data with JSON server. Of course, this data is very basic. If you want more realistic data, you can make use of libraries like Faker or Casual or Chance.js. These packages will set you up for any type of prototyping on the front end. With that, we come to the end of this mini series on JSON Server. If you are a front end developer, I hope you have found a tool that you can start using for most of your side projects or even when prototyping something at work. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care.